this course will only consider normal phone games with two players. And so an example we've got here is uh, commonly referred to as the, the battle of the sexes. And the, the idea is that we have uh, two players, um, Alice um, and Bob. And what we need to represent is the preferences, the outcomes based on the decisions to Alice and Bob. And so we, we generally do that with, with a matrix. So we're just going to write that A is equal to 3, 1, 0, 2. And B is going to be equal to 2, 1, 0, 3. Now, what we are going to use as a convention is that the first player controls the row and the second player controls the column. In other words, controls are we in this column or that column? And the row player controls are we in this row or this row? And then we just read off uh, from the uh, matrices the payoffs to each player. So, for example, if the first player chooses the uh, first row and the second player chooses the second column then we are at this coordinate here once so we see that both players would receive a one okay and so the utilities we've got in this particular game simply uh, correspond to the what is called the battle of the sexes and the idea is that um, Alice and Bob both want to go to a movie. They have two choices of movies, which is why um, this is a two by two uh, matrix, where the first movie corresponds to the first row, and the first movie also corresponds to the first column. And if uh, we have that Alice prefers the first movie, and uh, Bob prefers the second movie, but fundamentally they prefer to go uh, to the movies together. So if they both choose their first strategy, then um, Alice gets a three and Bob gets a, a two. If, however, Alice chooses the first movie and, and Bob chooses the second, they both get a one, right? Because it's less because they're not going together, but at least they're seeing the movie they like. If um, Alice chooses the second movie and Bob chooses the first movie, they both get zero because not only are they going... Uh, to see different movies. They're also going to see the movie they don't like. And then finally, we have going to see the movie that Bob prefers. And so game theory is going to be about, well, given these set of rules, what are valid strategies? And a strategy, in our particular case, is what do, uh, is the choices of the movies, okay? And so given all this setup, what should A and B 